For everyone, I'd like to introduce the Waterloo Regional Police Service Band for a special performance. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the closing ceremony for the Special Olympics Ontario Virtual Games, hosted by the Waterloo Regional Police Service. My name is Mike Farwell, and I'm the host of the Mike Farwell Show on 570 News in Kitchener, as well as the play-by-play -play voice for the Ontario Hockey League's Kitchener Rangers. This year, under exceptional circumstances, Special Olympics Ontario, the Waterloo Regional Police Service, and the entire region of Waterloo came together to put on these Special Olympics Ontario virtual games. And we could not be happier for all of the support that we've had from coaches, volunteers, sponsors, supporters, and of course, the athletes. The response has been incredible. And we've seen some amazing pictures of the athletes competing and having fun with all of these new challenges. At the start of the month, Special Olympics Ontario unveiled the events for this year's virtual games. Since then, we have received so many amazing submissions and results for the 18 challenges in six different sport categories. Today, we revealed the results in each category, along with some highlights from the events. Please visit specialolympicsontario.com slash virtual games to view the results. Today, we have a very special guest joining us. The Honorable Elizabeth Dowdswell is the 29th Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. As the representative of Her Majesty the Queen, Ms. Dowdswell carries out constitutional and ceremonial duties and facilitates healthy citizen and community engagement. Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, please join me in welcoming the Honorable Elizabeth Dowdswell, Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Hello everyone, bonjour, bonjour. As Her Majesty the Queen's representative in Ontario, I'm very pleased to offer my best wishes and warm congratulations to everyone who's participated in the Special Olympics Ontario Virtual Games over these past three days. This has been a difficult spring and summer this year for all of us, and I want to thank you for doing your best to keep yourselves, your families, and your communities safe. As we slowly continue to reopen, 
It's our individual actions that are going to allow us to get through this together. It's so inspiring to see athletes come together in friendly competition. Sports are so important. You develop friendships and respect for each other. These games have motivated you to develop new skills, and I admire your willingness to work hard and to never give up. I value your courage and your talent. But you know, most of all, I encourage you to continue to dream big dreams. Although at this time you've been competing virtually, you've still managed to stretch yourselves to be the best that you can be. You've put in the extra effort, and that's something for which I'm proud of each and every one of you. In fact, all of us are proud of you. So thank you for doing such a great job of representing your communities. And a very special word of gratitude to Special Olympics Ontario and to Police Chief Brian Larkin and the Waterloo Regional Police Service for co-hosting this event. And to the many supporters for all you've done to nurture the talents of these remarkable competitors and to help them build their confidence. Thank you. So I hope you've all enjoyed this experience. I'm sure it's been quite emotional and exciting. Regardless of the final scores, you all deserve to celebrate what you've achieved. I know that you have a bright future ahead. So congratulations to all. And thank you so much for inviting me to share this special day with you. Merci. Miigwech. Thank you so much. We'd now like to share this special message. Congratulations to all the athletes who competed in this week's Special Olympic Games. I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate with you in person, but I'm looking forward to welcoming you all back to the Laurier campus as soon as we can be together. The hard work and competitive spirit you've all shown this week has been so extraordinary that I'd like to make you all honorary Golden Hawks. Congratulations again. I look forward to seeing you soon. Now I'd like to introduce the President and CEO of Special Olympics Ontario, Glenn McDonnell, for a special message about these virtual games. Hi everyone, I'm Glenn McDonnell, I'm the President and CEO of Special Olympics Ontario. I hope you've enjoyed the past few days and the activities and the celebrations that we've enjoyed together. We've tried to put on these virtual games so that you would have something to do during these unusual times. They certainly aren't like the games we normally have, but we'd like to thank Chief Larkin and the Waterloo Regional Police Service for all their support and enthusiasm for putting on this event. To the community of Kitchener-Waterloo, we look forward to when we can return to our full game schedule as soon as we can get that to happen safely. We'd like to thank the volunteers, the coaches, and the athletes as we've gone through this experience together. These have been tough times, but when we stick together, we do great things together. We look forward to continuing to put on virtual programs for our athletes and our volunteers as we move through this COVID-19 situation to when we're back on the playing field in the normal situation that we all enjoy so much. Be safe, be happy, enjoy your summer, Look forward to when we can all get together again. Thank you. Athletes, make sure you're ready to show your team spirit with your favorite team gear and that you're registered for today's virtual dance party at 7 p.m. For more information, please visit the Games website at Special Olympics Ontario slash virtual games. Since 1987, the Law Enforcement Torch Run has been the number one fundraising arm for Special Olympics. Ontario has been among the world leaders in their commitment to helping Special Olympics Ontario grow their programs throughout the province has been exceptional. Since 1996, every provincial games has been hosted by police services and agencies in conjunction with their communities. Tonight, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the Chief of Police for the Waterloo Regional Police Service, Chief Brian Larkin, who will close off this year's games. Dear athletes, 
I want to take this moment to send a sincere congratulations to all the incredible athletes, coaches and volunteers who participated in the first ever Special Olympics Ontario 2020 virtual games. These games not only showed the strength and determination of all those involved with Special Olympics Ontario, it showed just how important and valued our relationship is between the Special Olympics Ontario and law enforcement. The games also prove that being a champion is more about than winning a competition. It's about trying your best to achieve your goal, refusing to quit, and working together to make dreams come true. All of you have provided valuable experiences that extend well beyond individual sports, and for that, we thank you. We look forward to welcoming all the athletes, families, and friends to our great Waterloo region when it is safe to do so. Once again, congratulations to all of you. The Special Olympics Ontario 2020 Virtual Games are now officially closed. Hi everybody, we're Jason and Melissa Berry. We're gonna play a fiddle tune. Actually, she's gonna play a fiddle song called St. Anne's Real. <laughs> 